Hi all, welcome to RN Tutorials that is on Engineering Mechanics. Today, now we are going to discuss about the lecture 2 on parallel ground law forces. What is the definition of parallel ground law? Means here, what do you mean by parallel ground law forces? Here, the statement is given as if the two forces acting on a body at a point are represented in magnitude and direction by the two adjacent sides of a parallelogram then the diagonal passing through their contact uh, sorry passing through their point of intersection represents the resultant force in both magnitude and direction okay so here we are saying if the two forces acting on a body at a point uh, if they can be represented by the two adjacent sides of parallelogram then the resultant of those two forces will be the diagonal of the parallelogram which can be passing through the intersecting point of the two forces acting that is two adjacent sides so here assume p is a force which is acting in horizontal direction and next q is the uh, another force acting at certain angle with the p force so if we represent these two forces by the two adjacent sides of diagonal sorry parallelogram so the resultant of these two forces can be the diagonal of the parallelogram which is passing through the intersecting point of these two sides okay so here o is the intersecting point between the two adjacent sides or the forces so i am drawing the i am completing the parallelogram by using the two force directions by drawing the two remaining adjacent sides and next i am going to draw the diagonal so which represents the resultant force of the two forces so this resultant force is equal to the resultant force of p and q in magnitude and direction okay so means here if we have drawn these two forces with particular length related to the force value so when we draw this one so this can be equal to the resultant force the length of this diagonal will be equal to the length of the force okay so this is the statement of the parallelogram law forces so next we are going to discuss the analysis of parallelogram law that means here analytically what is the formula for finding the resultant force of parallelogram law so here again i have taken the diagram uh, that is uh, giving the parallelogram by using the two adjacent forces acting on a particular body at certain point that is o so here uh, extra construction lines we have to draw for getting the resultant force in terms of p and q okay that is the resultant uh, force formula so here draw a line vertical line that should be perpendicular to the horizontal line that is oa so from c point draw sorry before that we represent the angle between the two forces that is p and q that is alpha so next draw the vertical line from c so this line is a vertical line from c and it it is perpendicular to the horizontal line oa that is force p and again extend this oa until it intersects the vertical line which is drawn from the c so like this now give the intersecting point name as d okay so again here we have to observe that the angle between these two forces is alpha so automatically the angle between ad and ac is also equal to alpha because ob and ac are two parallel lines okay so here the angle also here will be equal to alpha so here the angle is alpha how can we say means here from figure a o b is equal to alpha and next again a c and o b is equal to q okay a c equal to o b is equal to q why because means here o b and a c are two parallel lines with equal length so automatically a c is equal to o b is equal to q and similarly o a and b c equal to p o a equal to b c equal to p means y means again here o a and b c are two parallel lines and o a means here the p force so automatically the b c is also can be equal to p force okay and next here angle a o b is equal to c a d is equal to alpha 
angle a o b means here a o b that is alpha automatically it can be equal to c a d okay c a d y means a c and o b are two parallel lines and a d and o a are on the same line so automatically this angle will be also equal to alpha okay so represent the angle as alpha on the diagram next from right angle triangle odc from right angle triangle here what is the right angle triangle odc this o d and c from this right angle triangle from pythagoras theorem we can write down oc square is equal to this one diagonal oc square equal to od square plus cd square that is the pythagoras theorem okay so again here od so here od od can be written as total od can be written as oa plus ad okay so here oc square can be equal to oa plus ad whole square plus cd square so write down oa plus ad whole square plus cd square okay from the figure we can write the formula like this next again from right angle triangle again adc so here right angle triangle a d c from this right angle triangle again we can write it as by considering the sign rule sign rule by considering the sign rule means here take sin alpha sin alpha is equal to we can write it as opponent by hypotenuse opponent is cd and hypotenuse by hypotenuse means ac so sin alpha is equal to cd by ac so why you are writing this sin alpha is equal to c by ac means here we need to find out what is oa what is ad and what is cd okay here uh, we are finding what do you mean by cd here okay cd means cd can be determined by the cad right angle triangle so sin alpha is equal to we have written it as cd by ac so we can write it as cd is equal to ac into sin alpha so automatically here from the figure we can say that ac is equal to q here also we have written ac is equal to ob is equal to q that means ac is equal to q so cd can be written as q sin alpha okay cd is q sin alpha so we have determined cd so next we have to find out oa and ad so automatically here we know that oa oa is equal to p okay remaining we need to find out ad so for finding this ad we need to consider again a right angle triangle cad okay same cad or adc we can say it as adc or cad okay so consider right angle triangle adc and here again for finding the ad uh, consider cos theta rule so here cos alpha is equal to we can write it as adjacent by hypotenuse that is ad by ac so cos alpha that is cos alpha is equal to ad by ac adjacent by hypotenuse okay so next again ad equal to we can write it as ac cos alpha so again here ac means we know that ac is equal to again q that is equal to the force q so ad is equal to we can write it as q cos alpha so here observe again we got what do you mean by cd and we got what do you mean by ad and we know what do you mean by oa here oa is p and ad is we got as q cos alpha and cd here we got as q sin alpha so substitute all these values in this oc square formula okay so here oc square is equal to again i have written oa plus ad whole square plus cd square in these terms uh, substitute the uh, formulas we got so that is p plus q cos alpha whole square plus q sin alpha square okay so here uh, elaborate this p plus q cos alpha whole square in terms of a plus b whole square so the formula a plus b whole square is a square plus b square plus 2a b okay so here p square plus q square cos square alpha plus 2 pq cos alpha and remaining term is this one q sin alpha whole square that is q square sin square alpha so here in this term observe the q square is common for cos square alpha and sin square alpha so if we common this q square uh, that means if you write it as q square half cos square alpha plus sin square alpha means sin cos square theta plus sin square theta so by the uh, 
trigonometry rules it can be equal to 1 so automatically uh, we can write it as q square so here uh, finally we get the formula as p square plus q square plus 2pq cos alpha okay this is the final formula so here oc means here here it is the diagonal of the parallelogram so that is equal to the resultant force so r square is equal to we can write it as p square plus q square why we got q square means when you common this q, q square from these two terms we get cos square theta plus sin square theta term so that can be equal to one so like that we got the q square plus remaining term 2pq cos alpha so this is the formula which is used for finding the resultant force when we can represent the two forces acting on a body with the two adjacent for adjacent sides of the parallelogram okay so this is the analytical formula for finding the resultant force for the two forces which are acting on a body and which can be assumed as the two adjacent sides of the parallelogram okay so this is the way of finding the resultant force for the two forces so by the parallelogram law so i hope you understand this explanation and derivation uh, what is parallelogram law and how we can find out the resultant force by the formula which is obtained by the parallelogram law so if you really like this explanation please uh, like my video and please subscribe to my channel and still if you are having any doubts please feel free to give a comment to my video so uh, i can I, I will try to clarify your doubts and uh, thanks for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you thank you all